and welcome back to my channel. So today I've got a makeup tutorial which is going to be a Halloween themed one. As we come up to Halloween I thought why not do a different type of video for my channel. So yeah, I'm super excited. It is going to be quite girly because obviously why not. I mean these days like, everyone dresses up as like celebrities for Halloween and stuff so it's not all going to be scary. <laughs> yeah I thought I'd keep it super girly and I think it's pretty easy. And hopefully you can all follow along with what I'm doing and hopefully create it yourself. So if you are new here then please subscribe down below and let's just get into the video. So I've zoomed you in and then like took my hair back because we don't want that getting in the way. So the first thing that we're going to do is I'm just going to grab my concealer and then I'm just going to pop it over my eyelid. Now I'm just using the Revolution in the shade C1. I think this is the lightest shade you could get, I'm not too sure. Then I'm just going to like blend that out. I've not put too much on because the brush is quite thick so you don't really need a lot, a lot on there. And also I just want to say, I've, as you can probably already see, I have done like everything on my face, like foundation, blusher. Um, just because of where I'm going to be, like, be drawing, I just want to make sure that I've got everything on my face and I'm not going to like work around it because that would be obviously pretty difficult and take you a long time. So yeah, I just thought I'd put everything on and then obviously once we've done the eyes, the look is complete. And look at these massive spots that I've got. It's so frustrating. I've just come out in like loads of like random spots. I think it was a different foundation that I was using. So obviously I won't be using that anymore and I didn't even like it when I bought it. I just, it was like too pinky so I think I brought the wrong shade. But like since I've used that I've just got loads of spots so I won't I won't be using that again, put it that way. So the palette that I'm gonna be using is just the Revolution palette, it just looks like that. This is a, this is the flawless four palette and I really like this one, I think it's really nice. So I'm just gonna grab a fluffy brush and then I'm gonna be going in with this shade here and we're just gonna work that into the crease. I always say when it comes to the crease, I was I'm really messy when I put it on, but like you, I always like put um, concealer on over my eyelid anyway when I've done it. So um, just be messy with it. <laughs> Does anyone go out for Halloween? I'm I don't know. I'm not really that excited for Halloween. I don't really tend to do anything um, like parties or anything like that. Um, but obviously I like seeing if I like dresses up and what people go as. So it all change because like, obviously when I was younger, if, well I'm not, I'm not that old but you know, <laughs> when I was younger, um, it was always just standard like witch or like Dracula and I feel like the boys. And I'm just taking that down as well guys because um, it's got to go underneath so I'm just going to be doing that down as well. But I still think witches are cool. I think, yeah, we always need a witch. Because if no one went as a witch, you wouldn't have one. And it's always standard that, you know, you should have a witch um, when it comes to Halloween. <laughs> well, that's just my opinion. By the way, this look as well, um, you could put any colour with this. It's not necessarily going to be pink. Um, I did use like try to use like darker shades of it though um, on the outside just to make it look a little bit more dark and um, not spooky but Halloweeny. But um, you can use like any colour so you know like green might be a good one, dark red as well. So I'm just gonna get some concealer and I'm just gonna pop that over the eye. And then like I say, I always use a lip brush just to blend that out. So that's what we're gonna do. We're then gonna go in with just like a flat brush and I'm gonna be taking this shade here and we're gonna pop that on the outer and the inner corner of our eyes. I am excited for like bonfire night though because I do really like bonfire night. I think um, 
I don't know, I think it's really cute and cosy. And I always go to like, um, like a fireworks display. Like a I feel like they're pretty, I think they're pretty expensive. Like, because when I was younger, we'd get them. And like, sometimes we'd have the big box, sometimes we'd just have like the standard. And there was always like fountains. I don't know if anyone else is the same, but everyone would be like just a little like fountain and they'd be called like flower power and stuff like that. <laughs> so I always think I'd rather go to fireworks display. Plus you get like the actual bonfire as well. But it always gets so, when I'm there, I always get so hot. I think, like, I don't know how people like can stand at the front because I think it's absolutely roasting when you're standing there and like all them little bits fly off as well. So I'm just gonna go back into the crease and now I'm gonna go with this darker shade down the bottom and we're just gonna work that in as well. And then the last time we're gonna go in is just with this Make sure we've got the right one. Just this dark shade there. And we're just going to put that on the, like, the outer corner of the crease. I'm just going to blend. Just use a blending brush. And I'm just going to blend that out. Just around the edge. Just to make it look a bit more blurry and not so sharp now i'm just going to take a really really tiny amount of concealer and i'm just going to pop that in the middle so i'm just going to my lip brush and i'm just going to blend that out i'm just going to be using this colour here, just this one up here, and then I'm just going to pop that all in the middle where we've put the concealer. And okay, and then I'm just going to go back in with the pinky shade just so it all blends out. Now we're going to get onto the fun bit and we're going to be doing our little spider web. So I've got the e.l.f. eyeliner and I've also got the NYX eyeliner. Or you can use like face paint. So I've got some like little paints here. Um, or you can use all, oh, it's just whatever works best for you. So hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm doing clearly. So I'm going to start from the bottom and then just work my way around. And you can like angle them off as well, so as it goes around the eye, it's entirely up to you. Next step is just drawing on the little, um, the little lines here. So I'm really bad at explaining things. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is. basically just make a v-shape um, and we're going to do that all along Okay guys, so once you've done that, it is now time to um, like decorate it. Um, so I've just used, in mine, I'm going to use just some um, white paint or white eyeliner. And then I'm just going to use some silver eyeliner as well. But I'm just going like, to use this to dot round. I did use like rhinestones now. If you really want to like be extra, then that is a really nice way to use it as well. But... 
I did like just a simple like eyeliner and uh, paint. So I'm just going to take one of these brushes and these are just like nail art brushes and you can get them from Poundland and everywhere. Um, I'm not sure where this one was. I had it like when I went to college. Then what I'm going to do is in between where I've put the lines, I'm just going to pop a white line as well. So now I'm just going to use the eyeliner and I'm just going to like start popping dots just um, in between. So I'm going to pop two there, two there and then I'm just going to do two all in between and then I'm going to put one on the, each of the ends of the, um, the web. And then once I've done that, I'm then going to get the eyeliner and I'm going to pop it into the crease. Um, and I think I like putting that there. I just feel like it ties it all together. Um, so it's not too like extra over here, but then like nothing over here. So I'm just going to pop that there. So I'm just going to wait for that to dry and also you could either pop some on the bottom lash or you could pop um, some white eyeliner, white eyeliner, I really can't get my words out today. <laughs> so then I'm going to use the Revolution Pro, these are just like individual glitters and I really like them and I'm just going to be using this one here and I'm just going to pop that in the middle of the eye. So now you could either just leave the eye as it is, just one on its own, or you could devolve. So I'm going to go and do the other eye and then I'm going to come back when it's all finished. And then I'm also going to pop some eyelashes on as well, just to tie the whole look together. Okay guys, just to finish the look off, I did put a little bit of glitter underneath my uh, bottom lashes. The lipstick I went with was Stay Matte by Rimmel in the shade 7115. And that is just a matte lip. So I really hope you like this tutorial. I know the lighting is so bad, ain't it? I think I say this like all the time, but I really need some good lights. Like the ones I've got, they're just like small ones. But I really need some like bigger lights just to make everything brighter. But I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it then please give me a thumbs up and also if you'd like me to do any more tutorials like this that are like creative because I actually really enjoyed doing it. I think it was really fun and like I said I don't really do anything like this like usually so it'd be really great to start getting into it more. So yeah if you did like it then just thumbs up the video and comment down below if you would like me to do any more tutorials like this and also guys if you do really create this look then I do leave my Twitter down below so I'd really like to see some of your pictures if you do try this I mean we've got different colours as well not just pink but like green, blue I think a blue one would look really lovely so yeah I really hope you enjoyed it guys and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you all in my next video bye